What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at two different bike light kits made from a company called Cycle Torch. This one here is their Shark 500 and this one is their Night Owl. Each kit includes a front and back tail light which are both rechargeable. This is great because as I mentioned before, if I put anything on a bike, I always make sure it's rechargeable as I hate dealing with batteries. First, we're gonna take a look at their Night Owl headlight. Taking a look at the specs, this has 200 lumens of brightness, a 1500 milliamp rechargeable battery, weighs 70 grams and can last two hours on high mode, four hours on medium mode, 20 hours on low mode, or 40 hours on flashing mode. The kit also includes a rechargeable tail light, which they call the Microbot. Looking at the specs for this one, it has 25 lumens of brightness, a 350 milliamp battery, weighs 16 grams, and can last anywhere from 1.5 hours to 14 hours, depending on which mode you have it set to. So taking a look at the front headlight itself, it's a good small and portable size and should blend in with any bike since it's just a basic all black color. There is a logo on top, but it's pretty small and actually a pretty nice logo, so I really don't mind it. All right, so up front right here, you have your power button and this light has a few different modes. You have high mode, medium mode, low, a fast strobing mode, and a nice breathing mode that I haven't seen on any other light and is definitely my favorite mode on it. Taking a look at the tail light, it's a nice small little square and is also pretty thin as well. So unless it's on, this is going to blend in very well with any bike. So I just now turned this on for the first time and I was expecting a lot considering it's only 15 lumens, but this is actually a very bright tail light. Usually when you get tail lights included in kits like this, they're usually more of an afterthought and only have a cheap dim LED, but this one was quite the nice surprise. So switching it on, you have three different modes as well. You have your steady on mode here, a fast blink, a slower blink, and another blinking mode that cycles through three LEDs as well. I wasn't expecting much, but I gotta say, definitely a very nice little tail light. All right, let's go ahead and look at the other kit. Again, this is their Shark 500, which currently costs about $15 more than the Night Owl we just covered. Looking at the specs, this one has 500 lumens of brightness, a 2400 milliamp battery, weighs 100 grams, and can last 1.5 hours in high mode, three hours on medium mode, 15 hours on low mode, or 30 hours on flashing mode. This kit also includes a rechargeable tail light here as well, which they call the Tailbot. Looking at the specs, this one has 10 lumens of brightness, a 100 milliamp battery, weighs 32 grams, and can last anywhere from five to 10 hours depending which mode you're in. So taking a look at the headlight itself, this one looks very similar to a flashlight, except it tapers off and gets thinner toward the back of the light. It is thinner than the other one, but between the two, I definitely prefer the much shorter profile of the Night Owl. Granted, this one is supposed to be more than twice as bright, so it makes sense that the light itself would have to be larger as well. Taking a look at the tail light, this one is also bigger than the other one. To turn this one on, you actually push on the light itself, which is pretty cool. And you have the same modes of steady on, slow blink, flash blink, and a slow breathing mode. This one is pretty bright as well, but between the two, I definitely like the Microbot a lot better. Unfortunately, all of these lights do charge with micro USB, which is a bit of a bummer as no one uses micro USB anymore, and it would have been a lot better to have USB-C instead. All right, so now I'm outside with one of my e-bikes. This one actually has one of the better headlights of all e-bikes I have. You see it has little dual lenses in there. Definitely one of the brightest ones. Only problem I have with it is the light is actually bright, but pretty narrow. So while it lights up straight very well, it doesn't really spread out much. So it's not really much usable light as far as seeing where you're going, except for directly in front of you. So here on the handlebars, I have one of the lights here then i have the more expensive light here so let me go ahead and switch off my phone light we'll project it onto the garage here we're probably about 50 feet away a little more than that and we'll see uh, how they compare 
All right, so you can see it's dark out. This is what it looks like without the light. Let me go ahead and switch on the e-bike light. And as you can see on camera, like I said, it lights up very well right down the middle, but there's really not much light off to the side. So if you're driving down on a dark road, it's not particularly useful as a light because similar to a car light, you don't want it to be bright in one area, but you want it to fan out. So let's go ahead and switch that off. All right, let's go ahead and start out the Psycho Torch light. This is the smaller, cheaper one. All right, so as you can see, it's not as bright focusing on the center spot. All right, got to set the regular mode. So yeah, it's not bright in the center like the other one was. It was very bright, but it was just all in one spot, a big hot spot, which wasn't very useful. Then you can see this one, it spread out a whole lot more. You see the little handle in the middle? That's where it lit up before, with a little radius around it. This one spreads out and it lights up a lot more of the entire path in front of you. So even the cheaper light, which also has the dual lights as well, it's pretty good. And in my opinion, better than what's on my e-bike as well. So let's go ahead and switch that one off and try the more expensive one, which is the one we have here. And it kind of looks like a flashlight. Definitely a whole, whole lot better. You can see that lights up the whole entire area very well. Right now it's on this pulsing mode, which is where you get the most battery. And you can see just from the ground, it is lighting up the entire area very, very well. Even though it's a lot smaller, it's only that little thing compared to that big one down there. This spreads out light very, very, very well. This is definitely one of the brighter headlights I have used on a bike. And especially for the price, this is a great little light. Let's go ahead and switch on the other one, see how much of a difference we get. All right, it's definitely a good amount of added brightness as well. So, I mean, it might be a great idea just to get two of these lights and put one on each side of the bars and look how well that lights up everything. Like if you're out somewhere in the forest or something and it's very dark, you just slap these two lights on there and you're going to be able to see your path very, very, very well. All right, so now much further back as well, probably about 100 feet. Here we have the microbot tail light, and over here we have the tail light that comes with the cheaper light. You can see the other one is definitely a lot brighter. This one is still very bright. You can see this one has more of a glow on it. Both very, very good tail lights. So, yeah, definitely great tail lights great headlights that both perform very well and are more than enough for most people if you don't do much night riding i'll say just pick up one but if you're someone that likes to ride in the dark a lot i would recommend picking up two and putting one on each side of the bars and you're always going to have a very well lit road in front of you all right so if you happen to be looking for a headlight and tail light kit for your e-bike regular bike or scooter these from cycle torch are definitely ones i would highly recommend I'll have to do some more riding with these and show you how they look on the road. But right now it's about 10 degrees outside. My hands are freezing. The floor is all icy. So I'm definitely not going to risk that or I'm gonna end up falling on the floor. But I'll uh, do another video come springtime. But as of now, I can see these will work very well without any issues. All right, well, if you have any questions, just let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.